Hello again. Uh, I wanted to make another video about how we write with Max. Uh, he's playing in the bathroom right now, but we're going to bring him out and sort of have him demonstrate a typical lesson for you. But before that, I wanted to uh, explain a little bit more about writing. Uh, writing, in my opinion, is the uh, expressive form of literacy. And uh, we use Braille. It is a tactile form of writing that was developed by a 15-year-old French boy named Louis Braille uh, in the 1820s. And uh, basically, it's, it, it's very simple, but it's quite genius. It basically is a uh, system that uses six dots, and any certain combination of these six dots can make any letter and any symbol that you would find in writing. And if you can write any letter, then you can write any word. And if you can write any word, then you basically could write any thought. So, quite a freeing system for the blind. Um, so let's take a look at what we use to make Braille. Uh, I know this is a little odd, this angle, but uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, the Perkins Brailler before I had Max come out. This is the machine that we use to uh, make writing into a, a tactile vehicle for Max's mind. Uh, the Perkins Brailler is, uh, it looks like a typewriter. Uh, and it's, it's amazingly uh, simple, um, but yet so effective. And uh, basically it's composed of uh, six keys that in combination with different uh, finger positionings uh, at the same time can create uh, any letter. So for instance, uh, to make uh, the letter A, uh, I would simply push the uh, finger position one. Uh, now, typically when you do Braille, you want to keep your fingers on the keys at all times, so you don't want to lose uh, your place. Uh, but for the sake of uh, showing, I'm going to kind of flip up the uninvolved uh, fingers to, uh, to make my point. Um, letter B would be uh, finger one and finger two. Uh, letter L would be finger one, two, and three at the same time. Uh, and uh, letter D would be letter uh, one. Uh, uh, four and five at the same time. Um, now, uh, again, those are just a few of the basic combinations. Uh, don't lose heart if you feel that you know this is confusing because we actually have a cheat sheet, and um, I got this on online. It was just the finger location for the Perkins Brailler, and so it shows you you know which one of the six fingers that you select to make the letter. And uh, actually, I usually write a little uh, um, uh, key down here for uh, periods, question marks, uh, quotations, that sort of thing. Uh, again, we're not getting too sophisticated with our punctuation, but hopefully in the future that will become more important. So uh, it's pretty simple. And um, as I said, we can uh, get through the alphabet uh, pretty quickly. And uh, Max is starting to learn and anticipate uh, what uh, fingers uh, do what letter. Now, uh, some people have been taught in the classical um, situation where uh, they'll learn that letter A is uh, finger one, or letter C is finger one and four. I really don't like to uh, talk about the exact finger uh, positions as I think that's just going to give Max more information than he really has to deal with. So uh, instead, I will lightly touch his uh, fingers at these positions if that's the letter, uh, what the letter calls for. And uh, every now and then I might point out, oh, it's your two index fingers, Max, or it's your uh, index fingers and your uh, ring uh, or middle finger, Max, uh, because he is familiar with the term thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger. And uh, those would be the only fingers you would use. And, and really the thumb, you wouldn't use that to make the letter, but you do use it uh, for the space bar. Uh, so that is uh, basically a Perkins Brailler 101. Hello again guys, uh, here we are and uh, we are going to show you one of our typical uh, brailing uh, lessons. And uh, But first, we need our brailing machine, yes, and I just happen to have it here. Oh, it's kind of heavy, it probably weighs about four or five pounds, so Max is ready. Are you ready? Okay, well let's check and see what we did last night. It looks like we worked on... Let's see, you've got a P, L, D, 
H A Q. Looks like we were trying to do some alphabets. H O L E. Oh, we were spelling some vocabulary words. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Yes, Maxie. Wonderful. We still have some paper, so we'll go ahead and use what we have. So uh, what we're going to do uh, with Max is basically we do a similar routine each time, and that consists of one making sure that the uh, carriage is all the way to the left uh, and then making sure we have a clean line. Uh, so now, Maxie, uh, let's spell your name. It's M. As I do this, I have him, there you go, M, A. I have him go ahead and make the letter with his good job, X, with his right hand. Very good. Okay, let's see what we got here. M A X Max, that's you. Yay! Good job. We like to identify uh, each uh, paperwork that we do each session. Um, so Maxi, <laughs> you tell we both got some new haircuts. Uh, I think mine turned out a little bit <laughs> better than his. But uh, Maxi, let's do our ABCs, okay? So let's get our lever. We're gonna push it over to the side and let's space our line. So A. And I gently, good job, B, I gently touch C, his fingers, and as time is going on, I find myself touching lighter and lighter. Oh, well, I just noticed he did an F and 70. Well, you're jumping ahead, man. <laughs> okay, F, F. What I generally do is if I notice him uh, making a mistake, then I'll have him do the letter again. But he, he was just getting excited and jumping ahead. Okay, F, F. You want to do an F? Huh? We got to finish the alphabet. F. There we go. All right, F. Oh, is that tickling? Okay, let's do F again. There we go. Find your space. Oh, F again. Sometimes. and Good, G. H, and I try to uh, not frustrate him too much, I, so, you know, he made a mistake a couple times, I try K, oh, we're at K, oh, I skipped J, you're right, Max, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Max, mommy forgot about J, I'm sorry, so we'll do J now, okay, sometimes Maxie is a little bit better than I, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, Max, I don't mean to confuse you, L, he knows the alphabet better than I do. L. Oh, now see, he actually did a Q. He did a Q that time, so L. Good. M. We have to keep an eye on each other, don't we, Maxie? Make sure we're doing this right. N. O. P. Q. Sometimes he'll get in a hurry. And he'll kind of zip through it. S. T. Uh-oh, we're running out of space. <laughs> Hopefully we can finish this, this puppy up. U. V. W. Good. As I said, he gets excited. He knows we're filming, too. W. X. That's in your name, Max. Y. Everything with his finger. Z. There we go. Wonderful. And he always likes to check his work. You did so good. Mm. Let's see what we got. Let's check it. So A, B, C, D. We did another D, an E. We did a B here, an F, a G, an H. Let's see. I think this is where I started getting a little I. We did an O here, and then we did a J. Yeah, this is where Mommy mix, mixed up. K, and then a Q, <laughs> L, M, N, O, P. I think we got it right after this. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. We got a rough start there. Yay! But I think we kind of kicked it in there. <laughs> so, so now what I... Oh, are you finished with your hearing aid? Okay, well, we'll give you a break for that. He actually just came out of playing in the water, and um, there's a little bit of water in his ears, so I wasn't really thrilled about him uh, 
wearing his hearing aid anyway, so we'll give that a break. What? Oh, you want it? You want your hearing aid? Hmm? No? Yes? Hearing aid? Okay. Mm. Excuse me for using my saliva to lubricate, but in real life sometimes you have to be practical. No? Not feeling it? Maxie, we'll put your hearing aid in later, okay? Let's no, you want it now. Okay, all right. There we go. You hear the birds? There we go. Oh, you're so good. Well, let me put this. Let me put this on your shirt so we don't lose it. We have lost this before, and that's always a scary event. There you go. Okay, good job. Okay, so Maxie, now it's time to spell a word. Now Maxie is actually working on a vocabulary at school, and they are reading a story about holes. And uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this movie, but basically uh, these little kids, these boys are, are some kind of prisoners and they're being forced to dig holes to look for uh, treasures uh, from other people. But anyway, so his teacher actually sent a vocabulary list. And so uh, I'm going to pick uh, two words uh, from the vocabulary list and then we'll see which one he wants to spell. So Maxie, do you want to spell the word boys? Or do you want to spell the word camp? Hmm? Which word? Boys are camp. And the sign for camp is, it kind of looks like a tent. And then boys is uh, like you're pulling at a baseball cap. So you want boys? Okay. So B. So that's, and he's trying to make a D there. So let's make sure we know B. Good boy. Yeah? Okay. B. Oh, Maxie. Mommy is sorry. I forgot to move the carriage. We weren't going to get much work done on that line. Mom is sorry. So let's start again. So, boys. B. Max is kind of like a gear. You have to uh, kind of go. Uh, with the flow with him and you know once he's started an activity he's pretty good uh, but if he's been thrown off then uh, it might take a moment or so to refocus so yeah let's spell let's braille the word boy here we go b good b uh, let's do that b again b good o excellent y oh <laughs> Okay, what did we what did we write? We wrote B B Y. Okay, pretty good. Let's write four more times. And I like him to spell the word uh, about five times. Uh, again, it's it's good for him to have an expectation of the beginning uh, and the end of an activity. But also, um, uh, usually by the fourth or the fifth time, he's starting to actually anticipate, you know, the finger positions and learning uh, how to spell this word. So, okay, four more times, buddy. Four more times. Boy. Boy. Here we go. I know you want to hug. Mommy will hug you later. <laughs> Mommy will hug you later. We're doing, we're doing important things here, Max. It's work time. Good. Boy. Oh, you want to check your work. Okay, well, I don't think it changed much from last. It's B, B, Y. Okay, okay, so let's, let's try again, but boy is spelled B, and uh, I think I'm going to do the finger pressures with him ahead of time. B, O, Y. And let's just see if that helps with our, yeah, those are the fingers. You ready to spell the rest of the words? There we go. B, good, just these two. Wonderful, O, perfect, Max. Beautiful, Y. Good job, space. Oh, you just already wanna feel that word. Oh yes, that was perfect, Max. B, O, Y, boy. Good job, Maxie, that was perfect. That was perfect. So let's do this, three, more times. 
Uh, and finally, I, I just wanted to uh, review the uh, importance of us using the same signs with Max. Uh, for instance, uh, at school they send home a vocabulary list that Max will be responsible for and uh, they're reading the story Holes. So I went to look up uh, the sign for Hole and I looked at the ASL uh, version. And uh, they use the F hand shape with the left and then with the right they're just pointing out the hole. So I thought, well, that's pretty iconic. That makes sense. Uh, uh, I think this will be a good sign to know. But his intervener called and she said, you know, Sarah, uh, the holes that um, these kids are digging, they're, they're actually kind of almost like little tunnel holes in the ground. So uh, the way she was going to sign it and she you know, shared with me is uh, instead of the F hand shape, she was going to make kind of like a closed O shape uh, and then you know, again, indicate the hole. And you know, I said, okay, that's fine. That's, we'll, we'll use that. Uh, but then his uh, teacher uh, for the deaf, uh, she contacts me later uh, in the day and says, uh, well, you know, these, these holes are actually pretty big that, you know, the kids are digging. Uh, so we're going to make the sign holes like this. And uh, so, you know, so I said, fine. So that's how, you know, we were signing uh, the word whole uh, in this instance uh, with Max. Uh, so, but the, but the important thing is that we were all on the same page. And uh, to further this goal, uh, the uh, teacher shared with me this wonderful uh, app called uh, Glide. And uh, it's actually something you can put on your phone. And uh, let's see, I'll try to show you the icon for it. Uh, So this is uh, my smartphone, and you can see the uh, Glide app uh, right here. It's the uh, blue circle with the video camera on it. And um, I just wanted to kind of show you what that looks like. Uh, uh, for example, uh, when uh, we I was first introduced to this, I was still having some questions about how to use it. But but basically, his um, one of his teachers sent me a message uh, as to, you know, what gestures he was making at school, and I was able to respond uh, after visually seeing uh, what hey, she was Caitlin, indicating, um, and I'll sure kind of show you that not, interaction. That video. That's how we do video here at home. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Uh, okay, we do it like this, and that means he wants to watch his video. <laughs> so we watch a lot of Frozen, Elf, and Happy Feet. Uh, I don't know if you have any music you can give him, but that's what he means. Uh. So again, this helps us all to, to uh, understand Max and understand each other a little bit better. And uh, this uh, uh, is another example of where I was sent a uh, copy of the vocabulary words, but I had some questions as to how they should be done. So uh, just to kind of show you the capabilities of this app. Oops capabilities of my <laughs> IT ability. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think it's recording now. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you for the wonderful signs. And um, so it is water, fall, I like that, uh, and palace. Uh, is it kind of like from the nose, like you're being snobby, and then like that? Or is it more like the shape of a house? Uh, but I love the signs. Thank you. Oh, and I like the lights, too. It reminded me of the 70s. So, again, uh, we're able to uh, communicate with each other and uh, ultimately uh, provide a better uh, communication experience for Max. Anyway, the, the nice thing about this, as you can see, is it gives you uh, really a video library that you can uh, reference later on. And again, you can share with each other uh, how you sign. Uh, I know that um, uh, one of his teachers has you know, asked, well, Max is doing you know, this certain you know, sign, you know, what does it mean? Uh, and so again, we can share uh, information, which is, is quite important. So uh, once again, thank you uh, for sharing your time with us. And um, hopefully we can all shed a little bit more light uh, in this world and have a wonderful day.